Hello, everybody. I'm Danes Thomas, and I'm a consultant in uveitis, um, adult and pediatrics at Moorfields. And I'd like to thank Bus for inviting me to chair this very, very interesting session that I hope we'd all benefit from. Now, when I first um, started as a medical student, um, I was initially a little bit put off research because it all seemed to be a very, very competitive sort of business. And um, I'm pleased to say that over the years, the landscape has changed completely in that it is now very, very much a collaboration between um, laboratory scientists, clinicians, and most importantly, the patients who are actually affected by the conditions and by the outcomes of um, what we're all looking into. Um, more so, it has changed ever since the genome was elucidated a few years ago. And you may remember a very interesting piece of news with Tony Blair and Bill Clinton um, saying, this has changed the way we think about disease and medicine forever. And that launched um, national biobank programs in both the United States and the United Kingdom. And it is very, very um, heartening to know that the biobank concept is now getting to be more disease specific and not just looking at um, the healthy population. So we're going to hear about all of that. We're going to hear about collaborations, about the difficulties with funding and um, the, the outcome measures, how they've expanded over time to actually listen to what is going on and what the real outcomes of research should be. So the first speaker is Professor Phil Murray, who is a uh, national and international figure in the uveitis community, and he's going to tell us about the National Birdshot Research Network and the National Birdshot Biobank. Phil, are you here? <laughs> 